What do we got going on here? Patty O'Shea. Patty O'Shea rushing in as intermission's winding down. I don't believe he was booked. Look, I'm tired of coming every month and always being told in the entrance that I'm not welcome, that I'm not good enough to come and share the locker room with the other people. I come from a long distance because I love pro wrestling. And I'm not leaving this ring until somebody from there comes and tells me to get out or if they sit on us for to take me out. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Patty O'Shea refusing to leave the ring. Interesting development here, Matt. Oh. Jay Cross coming to the curtain here. Business is picked up. Let's see what the brawler has to say about things. Patty O'Shea. You know, I'll give you credit. These these people love you. No, we don't. And, no, we don't. And look, <laughs> you don't? Hey, hey, break break news, they don't they don't like you. Um, but anyway, but anyway, look, if if you want to get booked, that's fine. You need to go through the process. You need to get a hold of us, you need to let us know you're coming, you can't just show up every month. Patty O'Shea saying that he comes here because he loves wrestling. Jay Cross simply saying you need to go through the correct channels okay, Patty, if you want to get booked on the show. I want to get on the show. It's time for you to get your stuff and go home. Do what needs to be done. Get yourself booked and then you'll have a match here. Jay Cross telling him he needs to hit the bricks. Oh, Patty O'Shea with the right hand to Jay Cross. That was a mistake. I don't think the brawler is going to stand for that. I don't think Patty O'Shea is going to be standing much longer. Oh, and he picks him up. Brawler Jay Cross has him up on his shoulders. There's only one way to go, and that is down. And here he goes. Patty O'Shea hits the mat. What is Jay Cross calling for? He hits the ropes and a big time leg drop on Patty O'Shea. Leaves him laying in the center of the ring. And he tells him that to now. Now it's time, Patty, and perhaps it is. Maybe you should take that advice and hit the bricks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get this show rolling? Now it's time to kick off the second half of the show. The first opponent of this next match from all the way from McHenry, Illinois, weighing in at 270 pounds. James making his way into the Craig Center here at the Rock County Fairgrounds. Monster of a man, look at this man. Physical specimen doesn't even begin to sum it up. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, coming from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the ace of space. will be the opponent. Waiting for him to make his entrance. Here he comes. Another big hoss in Scott Spade. This one's shaping up to be a good one already. Oh, yes. 
Scott Spade versus Cody James. We are ready to get things underway at the second half of the show. Let's hope the crowd is as fired up as they were for the beginning. We should be in for a treat. And behind the referee's back. Since they said fake. So folks, we're here uh, after the intermission. We have Cody James here facing off against Scott Spade. Scott with the upper hand right now. Cody actually uh, Attacked uh, Scott right off the bat before the bell even started. Both men outside of the ring at the moment. Cody coming around the ring post here to attack Scott and a nice right, right on the chin. And Scott goes down. Cody now picking Scott back up, rolls him back into the ring. This thing got off the rails early, fast. Attacked him for the bell, even rang. Cody telling the fans here that he works at his own pace, plays by his own rules. A real outlaw. This guy is an outlaw. Right hand drops Spade. And maybe it was smart for him to attack before the match because he's been in control ever since. Wrestling in full chat. Is Scott Spade. I like, like the look. It's a warm one today, too. One, two, three, four. Cody using those ropes to choke out Scott off the, off the ropes, coming in. Oh, slides underneath and a right hand. Such disrespect. Goes for the cover, only gets a two count. Yeah, what a slap in the face, or fist in the face in this case. Fist in the face in this case. <laughs> Scott Spade now getting in some nice arm offense here. He's got uh, Cody in an arm bar. Cody rising to his feet. Backs him in the corner. Cody choking Spade out in the corner, taking full advantage of the referee's five count. Playing it pretty close there. One more second and he's disqualified. Right hand from Spade as he comes out of the corner. That one's blocked and he eats a right hand from Cody. Cody sends him out of the corner. Irish whip style into the opposite corner. What's gonna happen here? Cody with a head of steam, but Spade able to get the elbow up and a huge clothesline sends the big man to the canvas, but he's up fairly quickly. Nice drop, drop kick. kick by Scott. Back to the corner now. Cody reverses the Irish, Irish whip and runs into a clothesline. Cody with a right hand pulls, pulls Spade out of the corner, but that's reversed. Off the ropes. Oh, a cutter. nice cutter. Nice running cutter there. And he gets the three count with the cutter. That was about exactly what we expected. A beef slam and bonanza. Scott Spade pulls it off heck of a match to start the second half of this show.